Alright, hello guys, and welcome to this Tropics update. This is a series that I'm going to be doing hopefully throughout the tropical season this year. I'm going to be just giving you guys a brief update on what's going on in the Atlantic as far as like development and future potential for development. There's no storm in particular right now as we have no chance of development in the Atlantic. 96L died out, which was always a chance. Uh, it was not able to develop, so that was a disappointment. But we are going to see in the long range the potential for more development, and I'll talk about that right now. But before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also check out the links in the description and the pinned comment where we'll have our social medias available for you guys. So right now we're looking at velocity potential anomaly, and basically this is rising air or sinking air. Now, if you know anything about physics, you know that we want rising air in the atmosphere for development of any sort of any sort of storm or tropical activity especially. So in the reds we have our sinking air and in the greens we have our rising air. In the in the rising air is very favorable and in the sinking air we do not have very favorable. And you can see right now we have a lot of those sinking air anomalies there in the Atlantic and that's in the red. In the green is the rising air. So the the Atlantic is filled with this sinking air motion, and this is really, really choking out any chance for development that we've had thus far, and really it's, it, yeah, like I said, it's just killing the chance for development. Now, we're going to move on to the 10th, and you can see it's still the same story, still sinking air there for the Gulf and the main development region right off there, off the coast of Africa and up the East Coast, so not a lot of chance for development within this time frame. Obviously, probably in the next... 10 days we will see some chances for some tropical development, some at least slight chances, but it's going to be a below average amount and a below average chance than we would normally see. Now, by the 13th, something starts to happen. That rising air motion starts to creep its way into the Gulf of Mexico, as you can see there, just south of Texas and off the coast of Mexico. There's a little bit of green there, and that's a little bit of hope for some tropical activity there as well, as we're going to see the ch a better chance for development with these rising air motions. And then you can see by the 15th, the Gulf is filled with this all the way to the Española, Cuba, Florida, up the East Coast, all of this is filled with rising air motion. Still, the main development region is in a sinking air motion, but it is headed eastward by the 15th, and we're going to also move on to the 21st, and you can see by the 21st, we still have this rising air motion in the Gulf, up the East Coast, but it's starting to get rid of that sinking air motion for the main development region, and that is a really good sign for tropical activity, if that's the type of thing that makes you excited for weather, uh, I, that's good news. We are going to have chances for development, hopefully in the future here, uh, for the main development region and especially the Gulf after the 15th, like I said, because those greens really start to fill in the Gulf, and that's going to be a really good sign for some development after the 15th for tropical activity in the Gulf of Mexico. And then after about the 20th, we start to see more chance in the main development region. So things are headed in a direction of more development here in the future. Then right now, obviously, like I said, we're being choked out right now by this sinking air motion that is not allowing storms to really gain, get their stuff together and, and have large rising clouds. They're really struggling to do that with the sinking air. And as we get more of these greens to move in, we will obviously see more and more development. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this brief tropical update. Again, no storm in particular. It was just an update on the entire Atlantic. So let me know what you thought of this video if you'd like more videos like this as we go through this hurricane season and hopefully more hurricane seasons to come in the future. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay safe and have an awesome week. See you guys later.